they call their cannons six pounders because they shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Could you drink that more noisily? <laughs> Maybe. Can you take your finger out of your mouth? <laughs> yeah, you're definitely going to need to cut this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um. Yo ho me mateys, today is International Talk Like a Pirate Day, September 19th. So we thought we would spend some time teaching you some pirate words. The plan is to complete a Mad Libs using pirate words. So if you don't know Mad Libs, you come up with nouns, adjectives, adverbs, colors, exclamations, parts of the body, etc. And you put them in this section here where you don't know the story, and then you read the story with the words in it. All right, me hearties. To make a sentence, you need parts of speech. We have a cheat sheet of parts of speech. That's parts of speech uh, that we're going to use to fill in our Mad Libs. And we will put this in the description if you want to make your own piratey Mad Libs. So we're just going to go over what the parts of speech are. One type that you'll see in Mad Libs is exclamations. Ahoy! Avast! Arr. Those are good piratey exclamations. They're things that you exclaim, that you yell, when you want to get someone's attention. Like, shiver me timbers! <laughs> Part number two. Part number two. Part number two. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Part number two is nouns. We're going to have nouns and plural nouns. Plural nouns means more than one of something. But there's three types of nouns. There's people, places, and things. A noun is something that you can hold, or someone you can visit, or some place you can go. So the people that we have that are piratey are hardies and mateys. Those are your friends. We have buccaneers. That means a pirate. Landlubber. That means not a pirate. And a scallywag, a scoundrel. That means pretty much a pirate. We also have nouns as in things. There's a lot of terms that pirates use for gold, like pieces of eight, or doubloons, loot. Or gold of you. Gold doubloons. They call the pirate flag, looks like this, a Jolly Roger. Uh, their swords are called cutlasses. They call their cannons six-pounders, because they shoot out six-pound cannonballs. Getting your leg cut off and replaced with a new one is a peg leg. Uh, walking the gangplank is another punishment for pirates. Drinking grog is a big favorite. <laughs> like that. Like that grog you just drank. And some nouns that are places are things like Davy Jones's locker, or Tortuga, or on the ship, the captain's quarters, or the poop deck. Or you could say the Seven Seas. That's a place. It's a very big place, but it's a place. Another part of speech is adjectives. Adjectives are describing words. They tell what something's like. Like scurvy, as in ye scurvy dogs. Scurvy is not a good word. It's, it means you don't like the dogs. Vile is another one. Contemptible, treacherous, and swashbuckling. They're all good piratey terms. Because we love to be treacherous and swashbuckling and marauding and fearsome. Those are all words that describe us. Uh, verbs. Verbs are action words. They do something. They can also be something, but I guess we won't get into that right now. Some good uh, options of verbs for bad libs are hornswoggle, that means to cheat someone. To scuttle, which means to sink a ship. To maroon someone on a desert island. You don't like them. A maroon ya. Or you could keel haul. That's a mean thing to do to punish rogue pirates. Then we have adverbs. Adverbs are something that you use to describe how something is done. So you might do something menacingly, or ferociously, ruthlessly, or mutinously if you want to overthrow somebody. Mutant. Or not mutantly. 
<laughs> mutinously. Um, and the word smartly means quickly in pirate language. What about mutant zombies? <laughs> All right, we're going to do our first Mad Lib. All right, here we go. This is called Interview with a Rock Star. And we need a plural noun. A plural noun means more than one. All right, which noun something. are we going to choose? Do we want a matey? A piece, a matey. piece of eight? Pieces of eight a matey. Well. I want to know what to do. We'll okay. do mateys for the first one. So the colors you can choose from are red is blood, the black spot, Gold doubloons, black spot, maroon, or white as your bones. Black maroon spot. is a pun. Black spot. Because yes. if a pirate maroons someone, <laughs> it means they leave him behind. But maroon also means dark red. Black spot. Black spot. Black right. spot. Black We're spot. Ever. Okay. Now we need a verb. We need an action word. Okay. Would you like to choose? We've got hornswoggle, scuttle, or pillage. Scuttle. Scuttle. All right. We're gonna sink a ship. Scuttle. <laughs> All right, now it's your turn to choose an adjective. <laughs> and we need a number now. All right, here are our numbers. We got pieces of eight, six pounders, one, which is the number of legs a pirate has, <laughs> or two shots off the port bow. I know. Which one? Nine. For what? We need a pirate <laughs> number. Eight. Pieces we'll of eight. eight. All pieces right. Of eight. Pieces of eight are pizza. Pizzas of eight. Pizzas of eight. Pizzas of eight. <laughs> Interview with a rock star. Whatever made you choose the name the Psycho Mateys for your group? <laughs> All the other good names, like the Rolling Cups of Grog, Peg Leg Jam, <laughs> and Black Spot Floyd. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're already taken. <laughs> You not only scuttle songs, but you play many scurvy instruments, don't you? <laughs> yes, I play the electric cutlass. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's more like a guitar. The bass Jolly Roger and the fearsome keyboard. You now have a swashbuckling song that is number eight on the vile chart. What was the inspiration <laughs> for this marauding song? Believe it or not, it was a treacherous song that my mother used to sing to me <laughs> <laughs> when it was time for Landlubber. And it never failed to keelhaul me to sleep. Keelhaul me to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> part of the body. This one's fun. Ready? Poop deck could be a part of the body, too. <laughs> okay. 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 All right, now we need a part of the body. We've got a couple suggestions here. Would you like to do peg leg, patched eye, skull and crossbones, hook hand, or shoulder, which is the parrot Skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones. This Mad Libs is titled Good Manners. When you receive a birthday treasure map or a <laughs> wedding six pounder, you should always send a thank you gangplank. <laughs> When you pillage or burp out loud, be sure to cover your stolen crossbones and say, I'm ferociously sorry. <laughs> if you are a man and wearing a lute on your head and a doubloon approaches, it's always polite to tip your grog. <laughs> when you are at a friend's buccaneer for dinner, remember it's not polite to eat with your shoulders. <laughs> Take food from anyone else's scallywag or leave the table before anyone else. And when meeting friends' parents, always try to make a swashbuckling impression by greeting them smartly. Oh, that's true. That one actually <laughs> works pretty well. You want um, doubloons or six pounders? Balloons. Balloons. <laughs> it's a party! It's, it's a party on the pirate ship. <laughs> it's a party! It's a party! Yo ho with a bottle of bow. Yo ho with a bottle of rum. No, bottle with bones. A bottle of bones. A Yo bottle with a bottle of bones. Mama. Yo ho with a bottle of bones. Subject taught in school. Subject taught in oh, school. What do they teach, what do they teach in, in pirate, pirate school? school? Uh, Zombies? Swabbing? Swabbing. You gotta swab those dicks. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Why did we have to come to this fearsome old castle? This place sends shivers up and down my hook hand. <laughs> we had
had no choice. You know all the doubloons in town were filled because of the treasure map convention. <laughs> I'd have been happy to stay in a vile motel. <laughs> Relax. Here comes the bellboy for our pieces of eight. <laughs> what pieces of eight? Coins. Coins. Yes. <laughs> Yo-ho with a bottle of bones! Look, he's all bent over and has a big skull riding on his patched eye. <laughs> that is disturbing. Oh, yeah. He looks just like a scalawag from that horror flick Frankenstein. No, I think he's my old swabbing teacher from loot school. <laughs> I'm putting my skeleton arm down. I'm not staying in this marauding place. I'd rather hornswoggle in the car. <laughs> That's what hornswoggle means. <coughs> Cheat someone. <laughs> You're worrying mutinously. Really? Look at the bellboy. He has my Polly in one hand, your mutant pirate zombie in the other, <laughs> and his third hand, his third hand! Ah! Well. Farewell, my hearties. We'll see you again soon with another fun adventure. We hope you learned some cool pirate lingo that you can use today. Talk like a pirate day. Talk like a pirate. Arr.